let's attach a plastic rim to a metal plate and place a thin needle above it. We'll connect the plate to the negative terminal and the needle to the positive terminal of a high voltage power source. If we apply a high voltage to these electrodes, a corona discharge appears at the needle, which we've already discussed in one of our previous videos, and the ionic wind begins to blow toward the plate. Now let's pour a thin layer of sunflower oil inside the rim and gradually increase the voltage. At 6 kV, the surface of the oil becomes covered with small craters. Let's raise the voltage to 10 kV. The ripples are replaced by strange waves that move across the surface of the oil. The higher the voltage, the smaller the distance between the crests of these waves becomes. Look at the amazing pattern they create. Positively charged ions fly out from the region of the corona discharge, land on the surface of the oil, slowly drift through it, and are neutralized at the negative electrode. Let's suppose a small depression appears on the surface of the oil. The resistance of the oil layer under the depression decreases. The ionic currents redistribute themselves in such a way that more ions pass through the area of lower resistance. The density of positive charges within the oil beneath the depression increases and negative charges flow under the depression. The oil in this spot is attracted more strongly to the plate, so the depression continues to grow. However, two forces oppose this growth. First, there is the force of hydrostatic pressure, which tries to push the pit back out. Second, there is the force of surface tension which also works to smooth out the surface. For the pit to keep growing, the electric forces must outweigh these. To see how this instability develops, let's film the surface of the oil with a high-speed camera at the moment the voltage is applied. The surface becomes covered with fine ripples, and then the honeycomb-like depressions noticeably deepen. Waves appear at the edges, and the cells on the oil surface become smaller again and gradually merge into long, narrow ridges separated by troughs. These ridges and troughs then begin to grow larger once more, and now we observe a stabilized pattern, the overall appearance of which will no longer change. In a photograph of the oil surface taken at high magnification, it can be seen that the troughs between the ridges consist of individual deep funnels. The layer of oil at the bottom of the funnels is very thin. Its electrical resistance is relatively low, so almost the entire ionic current passes precisely through the funnels. As the voltage increases, the corona discharge current grows, the density of the funnels increases, and the pattern of ridges and troughs becomes finer and finer. Let's conduct another experiment. We'll introduce a copper wire with a needle attached to it into the discharge area. Here we see the shadow of the wire, and now the shadow of the needle has appeared. Now let's turn the needle so that its tip faces the plate. Look at the interesting pattern that has formed beneath it. Write your explanation of this phenomenon in the comments to our video on YouTube.